I'm off to this. We'll be here. We'll be here. We'll be here. We might be here. Everybody, welcome back to the show. My <laughs> light, light, yeah, my light on the top is currently charging because <laughs> it went dead. So sorry for the terrible lighting once again, but I don't know, maybe it's a little bit of ambiance. Tonight we are actually at the Lafayette Pioneer Cemetery out here in Dayton, Oregon. And lo and behold, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is a full moon tonight. And it's October 1st. So we are gonna go check out this cemetery. Um, and actually, I'm gonna read to you from my other phone here, some information about the cemetery that supposedly, so there's two different stories about the cemetery, about it being haunted by a witch. And I question this because uh, this family who supposedly, the woman who supposedly haunts here, is uh or was a gypsy and um knowing gypsies and uh or their history and even so gypsies of today who usually occupy um like a lot of the uh, former yugoslavia there's many gypsies there who are outcast and scapegoated i tend to question the actual history of this woman and her son where'd you go speaking of my the oldest is there. I don't know if you guys can see him. There we go. I'm so sorry for this lighting, you guys. I question this history and how they were treated because gypsies back in the day as well as currently are often scapegoated um, for all of the bad things that tend to happen to people and tend to happen to towns. They look to the gypsies and they outcast them. So I wonder about this story sometimes. One of the stories is that um, a woman was hung here after being accused of being a witch, um, and her spirit has been seen standing or wandering through the graveyard. Some have heard her laughing, and one person claims to have caught her voice on tape saying, run home. Others say they have been chased out of the cemetery and found deep cuts all over their backs afterwards. I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't really know about that because... I can't find any other information anywhere else about that. And this is coming from OregonHauntedHouses.com. There's another story from Willamette Week um, that says the end of the Oregon Trail has a long and dark history that's drawn paranormal enthusiasts from all over the world. Um, so currently we're actually in the grape region, the vineyards. Hey. There we go. All right. Oh, hang on. Turn this off. Turn this off. We'll be here. Come on here. Over here. They might be coming up here. Yeah, they're coming up here. Okay. So, um, so, oh, there's people coming up here. So, if, if there are, okay, let's continue. Um, It says, I thought, I honestly thought it was the cops. <laughs> that would suck. Like, this is like our second. No, third, third. Or our third ghost hunting and the cops are coming. Okay, so. It says about here. <clears throat> Situated along a main route for California gold prospectors, the once booming town of Lafayette has had its share of bad luck for years the story goes, locals blamed Anna Marple, a supposed gypsy who cursed it as an act of revenge after her son was hanged for murdering a local shop owner. Rumor has it during the execution, Mar Marple screamed that the town would be ravaged by fire, and the town would indeed see two disastrous fires in the years that followed, and believers to this day predict there are more to come. Haven't had any so far. So... Was there a fire yeah, there were a couple of fires over here. So that's why I'm I'm questioning the history here because oftentimes, and actually Anna Marple's history, because oftentimes, um, hopefully you guys can see me, gypsies are scapegoated and uh, they're treated terribly. 
I can look up more about this for you and maybe put a couple links in the description below as far as the history of gypsies around the world. That would be helpful. Anyway, let's get this started. Let's go out and uh, see what we can find. This is our first time here too. So uh, yeah, let's go see what we can find. Okay, so all right, here, why don't you wear here, you wear the head thing? What the heck? Yeah, you wear the head thing, and I'll take the flashlight because I need to point it where I need to look. And I need to point this where I need. You have a tiny head. Don't you? Okay, there we go. And another person coming. So we are heading in. Here's the sign for the Lafayette Pioneer Cemetery, established 1850. Yeah, you can honestly just like go under. So this was in the. It says in the 1850s with with an S. So around there. So Lafayette Pioneer Cemetery Association. Yeah. So I don't know. Should we just hang out right here and see what we can? find or see it does say honestly guys it does say that uh, cemetery hours are dawn until dusk do not use wire brushes or chemical cleaners on headstones additional information so we're going to honor the lafayette pioneer cemetery association and just hang out right here what yeah we're not gonna go in i'm not gonna violate the the rules here because apparently like most recently some people came in here and um no they didn't steal them they knocked them over which is really rude um yeah so i don't know if you guys can see anything yeah that's not okay anything no i mean there's a gravestone right here there's I don't know. You guys think that this rock is a gravestone right here? Hey, look. It's one of those patches that I saw. Where? Right there. Oh, okay. See? So, what were you saying about these those these uh, types of patches? Walls, that square? Yeah. Supposedly, people put those there mm -hmm. so rodents and other bugs wouldn't eat the body, the body? i see it. well i mean was that and this was during the pioneer days right no they still do it today oh really i think so if you you can get a fence around your grave but, oh look i just saw this like rope thing hanging from what here is that? what is that no go back up what uh let's just wrap. no look at this okay this is not a it's a rope why is a rope here i don't know what was that? Point at that over there. Over there. That way. I am pointing it that way. I th something was over there. Well, there are cows. I'm trying to eliminate all of the variables, people, because... So, okay, so that right there is an orchard. Oh. Yeah, so there might... Keep hearing yeah. dogs. Well, remember what I was telling you about how rats and mice like orchards. They especially like citrus. These might be like apples or, or nuts or something. But... Or it's just the squirrels trying to throw acorns at me. <laughs> I keep doing that every day. Right. I go to walk out. Yeah. Take my dog, my dog to the bathroom. And then the acorn falls like a foot away from my head. Yeah. Okay, people. So... Let me just give you a heads up that there's an orchard that's that way, okay, to my left. And then over there, right behind me, there's a farm with cows on it. So, um, <laughs> you may hear like, ooh, and like, and that are cows. So, the goal here is to distinguish between cows and then actual sounds that might be um here i'm going to turn this off real quick because there's a car coming yeah well i mean on like okay so uh, so okay people 
I think that this this rope here um, I don't know if they did this as like a joke or if somebody actually was hung here I don't think so because this rope is really really thin um, but that's rude to do that as a joke if it was meant to honor the person there's better ways to honor the person Yes. But okay, so I keep saying okay. Oh. Yeah, leaving flowers or trying to figure out the story um, of the sun, which you know, Anna, I have the feeling that you know, if your story is true, that I can hear the train. That if your story is true, that they were highly likely to be scapegoated because they were gypsies for the murder of one of the the people in the town. Um, just because, like, if you look at the Salem witch trials and you look at mass mindedness and you study all that stuff, it's very easy to believe that something more along the lines of being scapegoated was possible versus the actual evidence see like i just heard the cow go ah <laughs> they're out there so i got this bug look at this bug like hovering near me <laughs> all right so do you want to get out the emf meter bug. yeah okay. i'm moving around guys because this bug is <laughs> okay emf meter all right so we got the emf meter Any spirits are here. Yeah. You can touch this. The meter, medicine. not my son. Anna, yeah. I have my son here. Hang on. Shh, shh. Yeah. It sounded like somebody walking. Or like a... Like something like that, you know? Yeah. Like I was saying, maybe you... they're not allowed to like go past the cemetery. What? The spirits here. Mm, yeah. Put it up there. If edge. there are spirits here. Yeah. I'll just put this right here. All right. Um, like this. There we go. Any spirits here that want to let us know that you're right here, please touch this. I'll try not to blind meter. you with my flashlight. <laughs> and it will turn on the light to let us know. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. I'll keep my flashlight away. But Anna Marple, if you are here at the Lafayette Cemetery, there are stories here that you were accused of being a witch and that your son was accused of murdering somebody. But my son, Oliver, who's here with me, We are not sure if we actually believe that. That if that story is true, that you might have possibly been wrongfully accused. And they blamed you guys for something that somebody else did. As well as blamed you guys for natural causes for fires or maybe like human mistake for fires that were not your fault. So if you're here, we have this black emf meter that's on this gate here and when you touch it the lights will go off and there's different colors there's green there's two green a yellow an orange and a red and you can touch it oh it's going off a little bit it just blinked to the you blinked it to the light green just now can you blink it to yellow Okay, something just fell from the tree. Branch or acorn? Uh, yeah. Might have been an acorn. Yeah. I know. The bugs are annoying. All right. Was that you that just made something fall from this oak tree?
We are also wearing radios. Okay, there's some stuff like happening. Maybe stuff is falling from the tree all of a sudden. Maybe squirrels or birds. Yeah, there could be squirrels and birds too. Maybe. Yeah. But we do want to let you know that it's not okay. It's not okay to touch my son. There are other ways that you can communicate with us. If you are here, we have this meter here, and we're also wearing radios. Explain. So, if you would like to communicate in any of those ways, those ways are acceptable for us. Explain what a radio is. Oh, that's right, we're at a Pioneer Cemetery. So you probably, well, I'm sure a lot of people have come here and bothered you guys. So we apologize for that. So I'm going to pull out this yellow radio here, and it's actually turned on. And sometimes you can use it. Hang on, I think there's a bug on my camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, sometimes you can use this radio for your voice to come through. And I also have one. Yeah, and Oliver has one too. Mm -hmm. You can use these to communicate to people. Yeah. By the way. Oh. That was me. That was me. Sorry. I'm mm. trying to put it back in my pocket. So, you know what? Here. Instead. Mm. No, well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the yeah, the gate put, here. Separate from... Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to... I'm going to try to catch it if you do touch the meter... Or if you decide to communicate from the radio. I saw you touch this EMF meter, or I saw the meter actually go off to the light green. But if you can make it go to yellow, something that's a little more um, concrete to tell us that you're here. But we're not going to enter the cemetery because the Cemetery Association has some rules here. And it says that the hours are dawn to dusk. So we're going to respect that because last time I checked, um, a couple of the gravestones were knocked over by somebody. And that's very disrespectful. So we're going to be respectful of your privacy as well as laying at rest and at peace. There's got to be, I bet you there's like a bull or something over there. Like, because the, the, cow farm is right there. It sounds like a tire rubbing against it. Oh, you know what? That is an animal. Where? It, it is. Where? It's like a horse or like a cow. You can't see it, but I can definitely hear it. I know that sound um, because of my sister, who my sister in Texas, uh, when we all lived in California, she's an equestrian. Um, actually a highly decorated equestrian, might I add. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> she she got like the best in Northern California or something. Like blue yeah. ribbon for real. Ooh. And Jazz was her horse. Jazz. Jazz. I like that type okay. of music. Yeah. I have pictures too. So it's a full moon. Look at that moon, you guys. I don't know. Well, are we going to go ahead and call it a night? I mean, I know these bugs, sorry for the, <laughs> the crazy lights, but these bugs are heading towards our light, so.
My phone keeps going blurry because of my light, so I'm sorry, guys. I'm hearing, like, birds. Yeah, put your headlamp on, dude. Mm. I could use more light. It doesn't really give off this much light. Like, what? See? That's true. I know, Unless but still. And guys, let me know if you guys hear or see anything in the comments below that we might be missing. And here's the thing, here's the thing about this rope. This is why I find this in terrible taste is uh, this rope right here, the branch that it's connected to would not be able to hold somebody at all. Like this branch would just break. So that's why I find this rope in terrible taste for people to do something like that. That's just, that's not okay, guys. It may be spooky and all that, and but this is, this is a place where people are laid to rest. And these are people from like the 1850s, like it well, says on the sign. Somebody was the first person was like buried. Like, yeah, established. Yeah, exactly. Oregon's founding is... Um, pretty sad actually um, the pioneer days and what happened to the tribal peoples in this area you can look it up um, I'll let you guys do the work on that um, Oregon was also the first state to ban uh, black people from yeah it was the only state to not allow black people here Yeesh. yeah it's a pretty uh, horrendous history um, so in regards to the pioneers, just like now, a lot of people don't know that their homes were built as a result of gentrification um, because that information is very difficult to access. You really have to put in the time to look this stuff up. And so sometimes people are just, they're not purposefully trying to kick out other people who have already been here. They just were not informed as to... Uh, the history so but now we know the history so but regardless hang on I just heard like a huh it could have been like a car what do you mean like a hum no like in my ear I'm really sorry if you guys cannot see like anything <laughs> in this I film I can't I can barely see 10 feet away yeah from me. it's dark out here because there's no lights and we it's need better the, flashlights. The I mean, the moon. The, what, am, what am I saying? Sun. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, you guys know that. And, you know, my heritage is of a Hawaiian heritage. And I am well aware of what has happened to the indigenous people. That's another reason why I mention the, um, the history of the treatment of gypsies. And believe it or not, I actually did travel to the former, former Yugoslavia through Serbia, Croatia. Um, and I did travel through uh, Hungary, Bulgaria, all of that area there. And I did meet some gypsies when I was out there. Oh, are you getting sleepy? We have been out here for like 20 minutes. Not a whole lot going on with this one. We don't want to bother. Yeah. Oh. What? Am I deaf or something? Because you keep calling out things. It was just like one footstep. All right, we're going to leave. You cannot follow us home. Please lay in peace. And until next time. I wish you guys could see all the fog rolling in over the farmland because... There's so much fog. Yeah, there's a lot of fog. Um, all right. Let's get in. You got a fart? Why are you doing it in the car? What, you want me to fart at the people that are trying to rest?